Welcome to Love Marriage Channel with Ola Folabi. I would like to share with you how to encourage your husband so that he can feel energized and motivated to effectively meet his responsibilities at home and at work. Love Marriage is a Christian ministry that teaches biblical principles and Christian values for building healthy relationships and loving lasting marriage God's way. If you want to see more videos like this, you can select the subscribe button below and tap the notification bell. Your husband needs your support and admiration for him to be physically, mentally, and morally strengthened to fulfill his dual role of a husband and father in your marriage. Firstly, let's look at how you can support your husband with his work. When your husband is faced with the pressure of trying to balance making ends meet with his responsibilities at home, you must encourage him so that his self-esteem can remain intact. If your husband knows that you see him as capable and competent, he will feel significant at home. Be excited about what your husband does because this is one of the things that gives him fulfillment. Gain an understanding of his schedule and what his days at work looks like. This will enable you to know when he's trying to meet an important deadline or when he's feeling overwhelmed with work. Show that you're happy to see him when he comes back home after work. If he's tired and need time to unwind, support him in the best way possible. By responding in this way, your husband will feel safe at home and this will strengthen your marriage and your family. Secondly, you must honor your husband in your conversations. Speak life-giving words of encouragement to him so that he can feel inspired. In the morning, speak positive words that affirms your love so that your conversations for the rest of the day can continue on a positive note. Learn how to say the words, I love you, I believe in you, you will make it. Listen attentively to your husband when he is communicating with you. Give him the chance to express his thoughts and feelings, and this will show that you value him. If you pay attention to what he is saying without intermittent interruptions, he will find this encouraging. Self-control is a fruit of the spirit, so don't give so much feedback than is necessary. Your insight is important to your husband. However, you must communicate your ideas, opinions, or concerns in a gentle manner. Speak the language that your husband understands and don't dwell too much on an issue. Gentleness is a key fruit of the spirit and when you combine this with a meaningful touch, your husband will be encouraged to listen to you. But if you criticize him, it will become defensive, even if you have a point. This is because criticism will not construct or nourish your relationship. But when you provide your input graciously, your husband will feel encouraged. Ephesians 4.29 says, When you talk, do not say harmful things, but say what people need, words that will help others become stronger. Then what you say will do good to those who listen to you. Watch what you say about your husband. Be discreet with the things he shares with you and don't be hasty with your words so you don't end up saying something you never intended. Your husband will be more open when he is certain that you are able to keep your lips from saying the wrong things and this will build trust in your relationship. Don't correct your husband in front of other people. This will make him feel unloved and humiliated. If you do not respect your husband, it will be impossible for him to love you. Thirdly, you must look good for your husband. When God presented Eve to Adam, it is obvious that Adam found Eve attractive. The chemistry was there. Adam liked what he saw, even though Eve wasn't wearing any makeup. Your inward beauty needs to find expression in your outward appearance, so you must be pleasing to your husband's eyes. If you look nice and presentable, you will feel good about yourself and your husband will be proud of you. If you're not sure of what your husband would like to see you in, then ask him and be prepared to take his feedback. A godly man will not ask you to wear what is inappropriate. You don't have to spend so much to look good. A piece of clothing picked from the right place can make you look amazing. 
Focus on the basics first. It is better to have few outfits that your husband loves than a wardrobe full of clothes that your husband will not respond to. And if you need help on how to combine colors, you can speak to a trusted friend. Fourthly, spend quality time with your husband. Your husband should not be the last item on your agenda after the children, friends, families, and other commitments. Remember that God is also in the bedroom. So don't engage in other less important activities when it is time for you to be the wife that God intended you to be. If you are adaptable to your husband, he will never stop chasing you. If you have so much to do daily, work out a plan that will enable you to free up more time that you can both spend together. This will include saying no to some demands and requests when appropriate. Finally, pray for your husband. Ask questions to understand the challenges he is facing and take this to the Lord in prayer. You can change a lot on your knees. Pray for him continually. Pray that he will continue to grow in the knowledge of God. Pray that God will prosper him in all his endeavors. Pray that God will make him a good husband and father. Keep a prayer list and pray scriptures together daily. If your husband is not in close communion with the Lord, God will make a way for him. When your husband knows that you're praying for him, his self-confidence will soar. The word of God says in Proverbs chapter 14 verse 1, Every wise woman encourages and builds up a family, but a foolish woman over time will tear it down by her own actions. So begin to put into action the God kind of love that is in you and start using all these tips to encourage your husband. And one glance of your eyes at dinner time will capture his heart and I assure you it will find your pleasant voice and lovely face irresistible. God bless you and see you in the next video.